Um, yeah, it's scary, really. I think that's the biggest thing, the unknown of next year. And it's all I've done, you know, since I was, well, yeah, 12, 13 years old and kind of gone through the system of British cycling and then turning professional. And yeah, big unknown now. And yeah, it's pretty scary. Mm. And when did you make the decision? Um, yeah, it's been kind of a long time coming, really. Um, you know, I've got the rheumatoid arthritis, which is really starting to affect me. And yeah, it's, it's not really a challenge I can overcome. And yeah, just the pain in my joints when I'm riding and training, it's just getting too much. Could you tell us a little bit about the arthritis and what it's been like to deal with it in the last year or so, when you first knew you had it? Yeah, so I, I mean, now I look back, I've had some little telltale signs and symptoms for a little while or the last few years but um yeah it got to a point where my wrist had really swollen up you know I kept denying I, I spit my bike need to the position I saw it after the season um and just kept kind of ignoring the pain um which ended up in an operation on both my wrists um which then I got the blood test back and it kind of confirmed the rheumatoid arthritis yeah um so I kind of thought I could not beat it, but kind of sort it out. Um, but yeah, it hasn't really happened. And actually it's been getting more and more severe and kind of led to where I am now, unfortunately. What were the biggest challenges riding with it, generally? Um, yeah, just in, in the cold, you know, the dexterity in your hands goes and getting hold of your food out of your pockets. You know, they're not an easy place to get into when your joints are stiff and sore. Um, you know, getting... Get, getting your bars open as well um and then in the heat the inflammation seemed to come up more in australia i was struggling with it um yeah and then it's just like your joints are on fire when you're riding you hit a bump or the cobbles yeah you're just in constant agony with it what, what's the thing you look back on with the greatest fondness um yeah it'd be winning on loop for the second time you know against three quick step guys in their own backyard um yeah it'd be, it's something I won't forget for sure. And what's the one race you wish you'd be able to win? Uh, it would definitely been Paru Bay, you know. I remember seeing the images from when I was younger and watching the race and yeah, you know, I think it's the toughest race out there and yeah, it would have been amazing to win that. But still standing on the podium was a real special moment in the career as well. Yeah, no, great moment in the career and, you know, fantastic to see Heyman win and uh yeah, you know, be racing for that line against Tom Bonin as well, yeah. As someone known for being tough when conditions the hardest, what's your grimmest memory of racing? Yeah, I think, uh, I can't remember what the year, but this San Remo where it snowed, we had to get on the buses, you know, that, that was just ridiculous, like ridiculous amount of coldness in you and yeah, everything was stinging when you got back on the bus. Yeah, it, yeah, it was grim. And um, kind of immediately the next kind of 12 months, what are your plans for what you're going to do and kind of finding the next steps? Yeah, just, um, although like the condition's been coming on for a while now, still not sure. You know, it's kind of all quite fresh and new and pretty unsure what the future holds and yeah, what I'm going to do. I'd like to stay involved in the sport. You know, I was expected to ride for another four years or so. Um, so I'd like to stay involved in the sport and yeah, just help out really and got a bit of experience in the classics and stuff and pass that on to the younger guys and get involved with the team in that way. Okay. And how would you like your persona as a racer to be remembered? How, do you think, how would you like to look back on you as a... <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like performing in the cold weather and, you know, the, the, the hard conditions and, yeah, it'd be nice to be, be, be remembered in them races. Mm. Yeah, it's been a great, a great time. You know, I've really enjoyed, you know, being part of the teams I've been part of and had some amazing experiences and it's been great, yeah.